activities. Now, it's not because I paid for it somewhere. No. It's because I believed. I believed the gospel. I received the Spirit. I am now a son. And because of that, I've seen in the scriptures, he said what? I will trample upon serpents and scorpions. I will stop demonic activities. I will heal the sick. I will heal the sick. I will raise the dead. I will cast out devils. I will cure the dumb. I will cure the deaf. All by the power of God in me. All by the power of God in me. All by the power of God in me. Amen. Amen. Let's, let's quickly let's open our Bibles. Now, everywhere we saw the gospel preached, or everywhere we saw the gospel being preached, we saw that what God's power was always present. God's power was always present to heal. In Mark 16, he said that these signs will follow them that believe. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will speak with new tongues. They will take out serpents. And if they drink of any deadly thing, it will not harm them. Amen. Okay, let's see Jesus. Mark 1, Mark chapter 1. We read it initially. Okay, Mark chapter 1 from verse 13. Are we there? Okay, let's read it. But Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever, and anon they, they tell him of her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she ministered unto them. Okay, let's see um, verse 14. Verse 40. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou will, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus moved with compassion, and put forth his hand, and touched him, and said unto him, I will be thou clean. And said unto him, I will be thou clean. Amen. Let's quickly run to Acts 3. Everywhere we saw the gospel being preached, or everywhere we saw men, ministers of the gospel, we saw what God's power always present to you. It never failed. And it will not fail in our time. It will not fail in our day and time. Okay? Acts chapter 3, from verse 2. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask arms of them that entered into the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked of arms. And Peter, fastening his eye upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. And Peter, then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, and he leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple. All, and all the people saw him walking and praising God. Acts 19. Acts 19, verse 10. Acts chapter 19, verse 10. And this continued by the space of two years, so that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. So everywhere that the gospel was preached, everywhere the ministers of the gospel in the scriptures went forth, there was something, there was something that was very obvious. And what is that? The power of God was always available to you. The power of God was always available. There was always healing. There was always healing. Now, what do we have in common with them? We are believers. 
we are believers. We have the Spirit of God in us. That same Spirit that they wrote miracles through is in us. Is in us. Amen. Just say after me. Say, at redemption, something happened to my hands. At redemption, something happened to my hands. So that when you put out your hand, you see a sick person. You say, in the name of Jesus, be healed. You don't doubt. You don't doubt. You are convinced. You are convinced that such as it was in the scriptures, it is with us now. We are convinced of that. That when we speak the word, the sick is healed. When we lay our hands, we see healings. We see healings. We see healings. We see healings by the power of God. We see healings by the power of God. Ah, God's power will not come in our time and, and will not be doubting it. No. No. It is too potent. It is too potent. It is too potent. So we are insisting again this evening that healings will happen. As we put out our hands, healings will happen with only empty hands. Ah, we don't lay empty hands. Ha. As God's power has chosen our vessel to rest upon us, as God's power now dwells in us, when we put out our hands, ah, our hands are the hands of God. When we speak a word, healing. It comes with healing. It comes with healing. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Just pray it on.
Oh, my. 